Hi, it's Tony with Little Dot Doodle. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, I just wanted to share a quick thing that I have decided I am going to do. I have been thinking a lot about my 2025 planner setup, reflecting on what I've done in 2024, and considering what I'm going to continue to do and what I'm going to change up. So one of the things that I decided I wanted to jump into that I have never done before is the Traveler's Notebook. So I did some research and we ran over to our favorite stationery store, Oblation Press over in Portland, and I loaded up. So I'm going to just quickly go through what I got and then I'm going to put it all together and then maybe come back and show you. Uh, if you are a seasoned traveler's notebook person and you have any tips for me, um, I would love to hear them because this is my first foray into this world. So um, the first thing I grabbed was just a free diary so that no... Um, it's not dated and I'm actually going to start this tomorrow because it's September 1st. So that's why I was kind of excited that I made this decision today um, and that all the goodies were available to me um, quickly so that I could get this set up tonight and start playing with it tomorrow. Uh, I haven't decided exactly what everything is going to be and do, um, but you can see, so it's undated and the month. So I'm gonna start with September. Um, tomorrow. And by the way, my hands are covered in ink because I got into a little fight with a bottle of Diamine Astral. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is a pack of lightweight paper. Um, and I grabbed more things that are that are going to fit in my actual um, cover. Uh, and I was okay with that. I just figured I'm going to get a few things and see what I like best to start with. Um, so this is just a plain notebook with lightweight paper. I grabbed a dot grid notebook because that's my favorite to work with. And I probably will put this in right away. This will probably be one of the first things that I have in this. Just a plain dot grid. I grabbed a pack of watercolor paper. Um, I actually have a traveler's notebook little watercolor palette that I carry with me and I will maybe put it to use in this watercolor notebook. For a couple of accessories I got this little craft paper folder that has two pockets. I don't even see where I'm opening it. Oh, it's just right here. So you can see it's just going to have two pockets. I'll throw it in there. I can't find the seal here, so I'll do that later. And then I grabbed a zipper case. I have always wanted one of these clips. I see them um, in other YouTube videos, and I've kind of coveted those. I grabbed a cute camera charm, and so now I'm gonna be on the lookout for a fountain pen charm. And then I grabbed a pen loop, just in case I want to put a pen loop on, I'll see how it works. So now, for the actual notebook, um, I'm using the passport size, and I was super excited because when I got onto Oblation's website this morning, um, all it showed was that they had the camel colored leather, but they had like a canvas cover as well, and so I, I wasn't crazy about the camel. Uh, I figured I'd just grab the, the canvas, and my husband said he would make me a leather cover, but when we got over there, um, I was just getting ready to pack up all my stuff and go check out, and I saw a stack of these, and lo and behold, they had one in olive, and so I was able to snag that because that was definitely the color of my choice. So, I love the packaging. It's in a plastic pack with another plastic pack, and then it's got this elastic and a little piece of paper here, and then in the box it's got a little bag, an extra elastic, and then 
in the bag is the olive. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is so me. I absolutely love this. So um, the passport size, it has a little notebook in it. Let's see, this is just plain paper. And they didn't have the traveler's notebook rubber bands that you put in here to add other notebooks. So I am gonna just do a hack and I grabbed a bunch of these um, spare bands so that if I need any extra loops that I can just make one myself. So um, those were my traveler's notebook goodies. I'm so excited to put this together and to make some decisions about how I'm going to use it and how it's going to take me into 2025. And then just as an added note, I got some of my little stickers and then I snagged this little bonsai sticker because my husband and I have been learning how to make bonsai trees. And so I grabbed us each one of these bonsai. So, Anyway, um, I'm going to hop off now. I'm going to put this all together and then um, depending on how it comes out, I will come back and share the finished product. So thanks for watching. So I am back and it has been a couple of days. It took me uh, just a little bit of time to get back to recording, but here is the finished product. The Traveler's Notebook is set up. And you guys, I am absolutely in love. So here's the little clip. I put a little, the camera charm on the front. And here's what I'm going to use it for. So the first notebook, so I put four things in here. Um, we'll see how that works for me. It's not too thick. Uh, I may actually try to swap something out or do five. We'll see. Um, but this I set up for a little gratitude journal. So instead of doing my gratitude in my bullet journal, I took the month set up and I went ahead and did, this is gonna be my gratitude journal. So um, today's the second. Uh, yesterday I just doodled a little house because I have such a peace-filled house and I am so thankful for that. And then today, I was really thankful that the weather was cloudy and gloomy and drizzly, so I wrote that down. And then I also discovered at the front of this that it's got these little rectangles, so I decided I am going to attempt to do a mood tracker of just highlighting content, meh, or a rough day. So I need to mark that today was a content day. So this is going to be my gratitude journal for this year. And I just set up October as well. And then I had just some of these cute little stickers uh, from Everyday Explorers that I thought suited this notebook nicely. And then the second notebook that I put in here um, there's my little dim sum kitties. I am going to just use for thoughts and ideas. So this is just going to be a catch-all. And this is the dotted notebook. Um, and it's, you know, it's not super long. So when I'm done with it, I'll just put another one in it. But this is just going to be whatever I want to put in it. And then there's more dim, dim sum kitties. And then this last notebook is going to be for watercoloring. So this is watercolor paper. It's the watercolor insert. Um, this is part of a postcard from Goulet Pens from way back when. And then the final thing I put in here is this little two um, pocket insert and I just had cut up a bunch of stickers. Um, there's a shark kitty. Oh my gosh, so cute. And so I thought, okay, these might be stickers that I will use in this traveler's notebook. And so I tucked them back there and then this will just give me another pocket to put things. I want to get better in my journaling about kind of like, I don't want to say scrapbooking, but like preserving the little bits and pieces that uh, I come across. Like, I think I'm gonna use that pocket to keep fun things in. So one more thing, 
and this is probably the coolest thing of my weekend. So while I was up in my office putting this together, playing around with it, watching some YouTube videos because I had to, um, I ended up stringing another um, band in the middle to add the extra two notebooks easily. We have a bunch of A6 notebooks laying around and um, I have my little pocket bullet journal that uh, I wanted like a leather cover for a couple of my A6s and my husband had talked about wanting a leather cover for his. So while I was up here in my office doing this, my husband went downstairs, pulled out some of his raw leather and he made us two leather covers for our A6 notebooks. And you guys, like this was a raw piece of leather yesterday afternoon. He dyed his green and he put some stickers on his. I'm not gonna open the notebooks because I don't know what he's written in here and I don't want to uh, invade his privacy. Uh, he dyed them you cut them, dyed them, uh, polished them, and I did the string because I had just watched a YouTube video for the Traveler's Notebook, and so I knew how to string it. And then he dyed mine this beautiful purple, and then he came to me this morning and he was like, hey, I saw these little... Um, little straps here that you know kind of protect uh, the outside and and he decided to do those and then I was like oh well I want a green one and I love how that turned out I'm like dude you should so start an Etsy store couldn't you see these on Etsy like I just love these I was so impressed so I've got a plain a6 Lamy notebook in here. I like the lines, kind of different than the dotted. Um, and then I have my uh, pocket bullet journal, um, which is my writing notebook um, that I actually have a whole other video on um, in here. So this is going to be like my travel writing notebook for story ideas and planning, um, etc. Uh, NaNoWriMo is coming up and we will most likely participate in that. So this is going to be um, good for that. So anyway, I just I had to brag on him because he just like got an idea and was kind of inspired by me putting my traveler's notebook together and then he went and made us these two super cute little leather notebooks so that is it I'm so excited to start this and I will update if there's anything worthy of updating or interesting. Um, I am going to, even though I started this in September, um, this is gonna just carry on through the, the new year. So this will be, if I like it, something that I will continue into 2025. Um, and I've made some decisions about some things I'm going to do and not do in 2025 with my journaling, but I will save that for another video. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, I appreciate you checking the video out and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.